Well, anytime we're, we're going through a stretch like that, we want to focus on the defensive end. We know that we are really, we have a, coach says it all the time, we have a lot of really good offensive players, so that's, that end's going to come. Luke really had a great second half. Um, so we just, we just want to keep focusing on defense and let the offense come to us. It wasn't really anything special. Yeah, like Bryce said, uh, we were focusing uh, strongly on defense, and we were playing really well defensively. Um, as far as offense-wise, um, at halftime, uh, give a lot of credit to Bryce. He was he, he was in my ear, and he was like, uh, this is your half. Like, I believe in you. Stay strong. And I mean, we just got to the free throw line to get things started. But it was a big, big leadership from Bryce. Um, it was really, really great to have a team like that. They kind of got a little run going near the end of the half and cut it to four near the break. Um, what did Coach Fisher say? What did you guys tell each other about ramping up the intensity, whatever? Change, what'd you, what did you want to change in the second half? Because it worked. I mean, just stay strong defensively. Um, I feel like we, we, we were playing pretty well um, on defense. They just sped us up a little bit on offense, just play our game, and just just uh, stay strong on defense, and our offense would come. Maybe this is what everyone does, but it seemed like they, they definitely <laughs> wanted to make someone other than Andy or Nate beat them. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that sort of what you guys were seeing out there? Possibly. Um, we have really, 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 really good. <laughs> How many really? <laughs> we have really good big men. Um, some of the best guys in the league. Uh, so, like you said, if, if anyone's playing against them, your best bet is to take them out of the game. I felt like a couple of those threes from Miguel really kind of jazzed it up in the second half. Yeah. Um, talk about that for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, preparation. You guys don't get to see it, but in practice, he's on the scout team. He's doing the same thing, knocking down shots, all practice long, working extremely hard. And it just came out in the game. And he's had a few games like that. That was a, a great, great run that he started for us. Luke, what do you like best about how you guys played tonight? I think, I mean, we just kind of grinded this one out. I mean, it was tough defensively. They run a lot of stuff, running through a lot of staggers, down screens, ball screens. But we just stayed together, talking on defense. Um, I mean, it was just a it was just a grinder kind of game, low scoring. But I think I mean I was definitely really proud of our guys how we just kept battling, and then we once we finally broke away offensively a little bit, that's when we kind of you know, took the game over. So I think this is you know, it's the fifth game since Thornton got hurt. Uh, you sort of have to adjust to that. Uh, how's that coming along? And obviously, guys like Miguel are starting to get a little mm. playing time. Exactly. Um, it's really unfortunate that we lost uh, Thornton. He's one of our best players. Looking forward to getting him back. But like you said, it was, it's an opportunity for other players to step up. Miguel, um, he, we've caught on his name a few times, and he stepped up. Um, now that Har is back, he's get, given us some really good minutes. So it's just about the, the next man up until Thornton get, gets back, and then we figure it out from there.